Hi, this is chapter 3, Momentum and Impulse of SP015, semester 1, this for this session lah, 20, 20, 20 and 21. Okay, so this sub, this chapter ada two subtopics. So, we are, in this video, we're going to look on 3.1 only, Momentum and Impulse. So, basically, you have learned this in high school, so it should be so easy untuk awak lah. So, first, kita ada momentum. So, how do we define momentum? It is defined as product of mass and velocity. So, P awak ni is a vector Kenapa dah nak panah ni? Ke kanan, ke kanan, ke kanan Ke kanan tu menunjukkan it's a vector lah So the direction of momentum is the same as the direction of velocity So if you have a car like this So lah Saya nak lukis vector juga So if you're moving to the right So P awak pun akan sama dengan V is to the right lah Okay So the SI unit of linear momentum is kg ms negative 1 Ataupun newton second So, in any calculation in physics, it's better untuk awak guna SI unit sahaja. Supaya tak confuse. Then, kita ada impulse. So, impulse is defined as a product of force and a time interval. So, delta T basically is time of impact lah. Okay. So, impulse ni simbol dia J. Impulse ni vector quantity juga. So, dia punya direction sama dengan direction of force. Okay. Contohnya, impulse. So, F ni adalah impulsive force lah. Okay, contohnya awak naik kereta Okay, awak kan empat empit You speed up you Buat laju 100 km per hour Meter per second lah Okay, then awak Langgar tiang Tiang lampu Okay, so bila tiang lampu ni Katalah you pin J adalah sama MV minus MU Okay, kereta awak kata 100 kg Okay, V kosong Tolak 100 kali 100 Okay So this J lah So Dapat negatif 100 kali 100 berapa 1, 2, 3, 4 okay. Newton second Okay Then Kita nak kali Awak accident eh Never talking about when you uh, langgar, langgar tiang So F adalah J over delta T So bila kita accident Kita akan tan untuk bawa Still stop So katalah 1 second you ambil Daripada speed 100 meter per second jadi kosong So the force exerted on you By the wall adalah 10,000 newton 10,000 newton ni kuat tau Sebab tu kita kena pakai seat belt Sebab tu walaupun awak pakai seat belt Awak accident Still akan rasa sakit Dia akan ada bruises dekat badan awak Due to the impact Which is come from the force And also sometimes kereta dia akan ada besar ni Boot engine ni So kalau tengok ada certain kereta Memang dia buat depan panjang Supaya dia akan reduce time of impact So bila reduce time of impact T ni reduce Force awak ni akan lagi tinggi rendah lah uh, Eh tak oh sorry Delta T awak ni kita nak naikkan So F is Inversely proportional with delta T As delta T ni kita increase The force exerted on you akan decrease and also the other application adalah contohnya sekarang ni kan Malaysia nak wajibkan guna car seat ha, car seat ni pun sama juga sebab kalau kita pakai seat belt kita punya tengkuk ni power ha, tu inisial lah ok salah ok car seat pun sama juga so kalau basically kalau awak pegang adik awak dekat uh, seat depan accident berlaku adik awak akan tercampak ha, tu bahaya lah ok then kita ada SI unit untuk impulse is newton second and K or kg ms negative 1 so kalau kita ada F versus T graph impulse is equal to area under the graph yang ni lah yang labeling dah ok then kita ada impulse momentum theorem ok impulse J of the force equal to the change in momentum P of the body so basically ni lah J equal to delta P equal to MV minus MU lah so J ada dua formula satu F over delta T eh oh salah salah macam mana nak padam eh J F delta T and also MV minus MU ok contohnya kita ada figure below shows that 0.2 so given the mass is 0.2 kilogram strike the wall horizontally with a speed of 100 meter second and it bounces off with a speed of 70 meter per second in the opposite direction so you awak 100 V awak 
70 Tetapi because V or is moving to the left It will be negative lah Okay Calculate the initial and final momentum of the ball So P initial sama dengan mass Kali dengan initial speed So dapat 20 1, 2 20 kg ms negative 1 As I said momentum is a vector So kena ada direction So adalah ke kanan Is to the right Yes with the same direction as uh, velocity lah so final momentum 0.2 kali nanti 70 kenapa negative sebab to the left so we're gonna get negative 14 kg ms negative 1 to the left ok calculate the impulse delivered by the to the ball by the wall ok so then the impulse delivered so j equals to delta p P final minus P initial So negative 14 minus 20 But negative 34 Apa unit dia? Kg ms negative 1 Direction dia apa? Sebab D is negative So it is to the left So basically kalau final answer awak ni Kalau positive to the right Negative is to the left Sebab apa? Sebab we assume that Positif ke kanan, negatif ke kiri So kita ikut yang tu, jangan pelik-pelik sangat If the ball is in contact with the wall For 10 meters millisecond Determine the impulsive force Exerted by the wall On the ball So dia nak J equal to F delta T So F equal to J divided by delta T J awak lah negatif 34 Delta T, tu adalah millisecond eh. So milli 10 negatif 3 So you're gonna get Negatif 300 3400 Newton So sebab dia negatif So this is true The Lah Okay so that's it With uh, 3.1 I'll see you in the next video Thank you